Hi, everyone, and welcome to a special series on procurement within ConnectWise Manage or ConnectWise PSA. I noticed that many of my clients have issues when it comes to the procurement module, so I wanted to create a series of videos going through each of the screens in the procurement module and sharing some best practices as well as mistakes I commonly see within the procurement module. Today, we're going to be starting with the procurement product catalog. And at a very high level, I really just want to talk about class today. So as I look at this, I'm going to scroll over and take a look at my product class. For the purposes of procurement, everything that you need to purchase should be an inventory or a non-inventory class product. Those are the only two types of classes which will allow you to purchase in the system. So if you're running into a problem where you can't see something in the purchasing screen or purchasing approvals, it's likely the wrong class. It might be a service class or an agreement class. I've created a reference for myself to take a look at the different examples of items and what class I normally see these categorized as. Some things which can be a little bit confusing are fees, which I normally put as a non-inventory class, and demo units I use as a non-inventory class product as well. If you're unsure about the class of a product, set it as non-inventory. You can always change that later. If you set something as an inventory class product or you change it to service or agreement, that change is permanent. So you won't be able to go back in and change the class of your product later. Instead, I always recommend to start with non-inventory as your product class and go from there. That is a recap of the class which is managed within the product catalog. Stay tuned for more videos as we work through the procurement module in the system.